All right, we are just about to check out of our two night stay here at Excalibur. We were in a Royal Superior King room. Yes. My first time. Not mine. <laughs> Not hers. So, if you're wondering why we're here, our last trip was at Wynn, our next trip is at Encore. We are here because we want to stay at every MGM resort. And right now we only have three less left, but this one is going to be knocked off the list. All right, yes. Excalibur. Um, it was a two night stay. We got in late uh, on a Friday night, mm -hmm. checking out on a Sunday night. It is very busy. It is bit very um, busy. I think, I've always felt like the Excalibur has a very fun casino floor mm -hmm. and it has a, you know, a, a good vibe to it. Um, let's start with the room. So in this room, things are dated. <laughs> very uh, dated. Uh, it is a very dated room. Yeah, it is, you know, if, if you're one of those people that come in um, expecting the worst, you're gonna find the worst. Mm -hmm. um, you're gonna find things that you are gonna be offended by and, and you can't stand. You know, we, we saw some rust on sprinklers, we saw some, you know, faded or stained um, areas, including up there. Um, <laughs> but in all reality, the bed was clean, the towels were clean, the room got cleaned every day. Yep. We did not have a lot of issue. Uh, you can find problems with this room and I'll be putting them over the top, but in all reality, it's not stuff that bothered us. No, not at all. I mean, it's a very basic room, even mm -hmm. with it being the king suite or whatever you call no, it. No, so it's between a suite and okay. a regular room. Okay. Um, it does have a two-person tub. It is not jetted, so it's not a hot tub, but it is very nice. Yeah. This is not a room that I would consider a luxury or even mid-tier hotel on, no. on the Las Vegas trip. If you're coming here, you are coming here because you want to be in Vegas and you want to save your money on your room. This is one of the cheaper hotels and it is on a strip. It is in a good location. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're, you're looking at your local comfort inn. Yes. That's basically what you're looking at here. The bathroom is basic. All, everything around you is pretty simple. But otherwise, I think the room was good I, for what our purpose was. Yeah, I only had two complaints about the room and it's we were up on one of the higher levels. We're on level 26 mm -hmm. and we face towards Oyo. You can see Oyo and the MGM. But it also sounds like there are um, ambulances and cars right outside our window. Yeah. <laughs> when you, so you, you can hear that very clearly. You could hear the reason. street noise very easily, <laughs> surprisingly. The uh, other one was the uh, toilet. It oh God. squeals. And I mean squeals. Squeals. I will insert the scene right now. For like two minutes at a time, it squeals. Yeah. If you're one that goes to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you're definitely gonna be waking up whoever's sharing the room with you. <laughs> yes. Not necessarily because of the doors or anything, no. but because of the toilet. Mm -hmm. It is loud. <laughs> but otherwise, I, I really couldn't find anything wrong with the room. It's no. like we said, it's basic, but it holds its purpose well. Everything we expected it to yep. be. Um, as far as the casino floor, we really enjoy it. We do. You know, it, it's a fun one. It is not the largest casino floor, but it doesn't need to be. It has all the fun new games. Um, we did not play any table games, so I can't tell what what the minimum bets were there, but it is one of the lower properties for MGM, so it's gonna be probably in your 10 to $15 start range. I was gonna say, I saw it this morning as I was walking through, um, and it was $10 a hand for blackjack, so not bad. There we go. I did also feel like on the casino floor, like good music. Yeah. It's always been fun f from what I've seen. And then there was a lounge that had live music the last couple nights, as yeah. well as over at Dick's Last Resort, I saw that they had uh, karaoke going. So there is a very fun atmosphere. Um, it does, it can be a little bit of a mix of your family versus party crowd. Yes, you, I've seen that too. And there was a bit, a couple different times that I felt it was smoky. And I don't know if that's just because it's a busy weekend in Vegas. That yeah. could be, I mean, I, it wasn't like, overwhelming but you could like oh yeah it's smoky in here right now um as far as dining goes this is definitely where we are not the biggest fans yeah. um we did try out tap the other night we'll have a whole video on that it was fine it was everything we expected it to be but for the most part you're looking at the lower to mid-tier restaurants most of the restaurants are probably going to be places that have chains across the nation mm -hmm. they're not going to be places that are like specific to vegas and Amazing. You've got Dick's, you've got Bucati Beppo, 
and you have buffet. a food court, which mm -hmm. the food court is actually very good looking. The food court is, and it's got a wide variety of it stuff. It does. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you can definitely save your money if you're going to be eating your meals here. Yeah. Um, but also it is connected to Luxor and right across the bridge is New York, New York. MGM has some very high-end restaurants as well as Mandalay Bay. So you're only a couple resorts away from some of the nicer restaurants if you want to go to those. Yes, and in all reality, the amount of coffee shops here is amazing. I was actually shocked. <laughs> um, there's at least two Starbucks, there's two, I think it's like roasted bean or something yeah. like that. And then we actually went to Johnny Rockets mm -hmm. the last two mornings because the line is super short um, when we get up, whereas the coffee lines are super long. So if you're if you're like us where you just want some coffee and creamer, it was it was great. Yeah. Much faster than if we were gonna stand in Starbucks or whatever the other fancy coffee place was. Mm -hmm. If you're enjoying this video and you want to see more Las Vegas content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll find we have over a hundred restaurant reviews alone in Las Vegas. In regards to the pool, it was closed at this time. So when we wandered yeah. down to look at it, the um, security guard did tell us it's closed for the season. They did have a nice sign up saying though, you're welcome to go use Mandalay Bay's pool. Yeah, I mean, that's a long ways to walk if you're going for a pool, but it is December. So there's a lot of people that aren't going to the pool right now. Yeah. You know, it is a high of like 60 to 65 degrees. If you're a person though that has to have a pool, you can actually get to one. And it's nice that they open up probably one of the nicest pools for, for, for the guests here. <laughs> I will say one of the things that surprised me the most about um, Excalibur was their gym. Yes. It was very up to date and um, large for mm -hmm. the amount of options you had in there and you had everything from treadmills to bikes to weights. It was a great option yeah. right here. A little bit more about the pool is the, it looks large. It did look You know, we, when we had seen at Luxor, the pool area was very large and Excalibur doesn't look to be too much different actually. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the most elaborate, you know, not the most palm trees and, and shrubbery around to make it all fancy, but it does look like a decent pool. And I did notice there was a restaurant out there that usually yep. is probably open as well with the pool open. And that's also closed right now. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the nightlife goes, there's not a crazy amount. There are some bars and lounges though. Yeah. Um, Lobby bar was always busy. The lounge with the live music was busy. Dick's Last Resort was very busy. Um, Tap Sports Bar had some little bit of nightlife. I mean, it's just watching sports though. It, yeah. it was nothing exciting. Otherwise, I didn't see too much else for like a you know, exciting, like there's no clubs or anything. I didn't see that either. Overall vibe? Like Josh said earlier, you can kind of get a mix of families and a little bit younger crowd, but it wasn't an obvious noti noticeable difference as it was at Luxor. If you go back to our Luxor video, you can see that we actually mentioned how much of a younger crowd it seemed. I didn't notice it this time. No. I did see more kids, but it is a kid-friendly hotel. Yeah, there is an arcade in the basement, which actually mm -hmm. doesn't open until noon. And so we have not been able to get down there to get footage. It's an arcade. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a kid who likes playing in arcades, or if you're an adult that likes to, feel free to go down there. You know, there is, there is some fun down there. It is called the Fun Dungeon which we really like the name of that. Um, <laughs> I've been laughing about that all weekend. <laughs> the other great thing, and you know, if you've been here before, you know, shows, there are three pretty big shows here. And they've been around for a while. Yeah, Tournament of Kings, which you can see, we did a video of it last year during the holiday time, and it, it was actually enjoyable. It was enjoyable. It was, I wanna say it was like 50 to $70 per person. That includes your meal, includes the entertainment. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, you know. Go with some kids, put a plastic crown on and ha have a good time Just with it. Just enjoy it, yep. The others are the Australian Bee Gees and then Thunder Down Under. Yep. So a little bit of everything for everybody. Definitely one oh, of the most it? exciting things that you can get here at Excalibur is the theming. Um, you know, it's old school 90s Vegas. <laughs> it is. Where it looks like a castle inside. It, it <laughs> looks like a castle outside. I think that's the fun part about it though. I think that's I what makes too. the Excalibur the Excalibur. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely worthwhile. And if you're not interested in just having another fancy modern hotel, this is worthwhile. Yep. Oh, as we were wondering, and I don't remember if we mentioned this earlier, but there is a buffet here as well. There were a couple amazing spots on that. Yeah. The prices, they, they seemed reasonable. Yeah. It, it is a brunch buffet. Was it $15 for all you can yeah. drink brunch? Mimosas? Yeah, fourteen ninety nine. all you can drink. That's crazy. That actually does look pretty good, and I could see if we were staying here longer, probably just doing some breakfast there. For breakfast, we did notice that like there's Einstein's bagels, there's Cinnabon, there's Krispy Kreme, but if you want a little bit heartier stuff, I think the buffet actually looks like it would be a pretty good deal, and I will put up the prices 
for the week weekend and weekday brunch. It looks decent. Yeah, it didn't look bad at all. And it was busy. The other cool part about that, if you're gold or above, they did have a skip line for yep. those um, MGM And we had members. also heard that there is an omelet station and a crepe station. Yeah. Why not? All right, as far as location goes, we are okay with being at the south end of the Strip. Yeah. There are definitely a lot of people that want to be in the middle of the Strip. We've kind of really grown to love the south end and the north end of the Strip. You don't, we don't, we've been in Vegas a lot of times and we don't always need to be, you know, right in front of Bellagio, right at the Link Promenade, Caesar Palace area. As far as us, we went as far north as Aria yeah. and we went, um, we didn't go any further south in Excalibur. So for us, when we've already experienced a lot of those other things, we, we really try to condense what we're doing to the area we're in. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of fun with it. You yeah. know, you can still enjoy all the bars, the restaurants, the casino floor. It's all a lot of the same games. Yeah. <clears throat> so getting up there doesn't do a ton for us. And so location wise, we are very happy with this location. Yeah, I didn't mind it at all. Um, the thing, again, similar to um, other places up here on this end of the strip, it's hard to find that ABC store, Walgreens. Because there isn't one. There, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> why it's hard there to find. Isn't one. <laughs> so there is a gas station that's actually across the street between Luxor and Excalibur. It's across the street. So you probably have to go about two to three blocks walk mm -hmm to get any water or supplies. So we actually did end up buying our water here at the store. Mm -hmm. um, you definitely have a markup on cost, but we were able to save some time by doing it. Yeah, there's essentials by each tower entrance. And then there was also one on the second floor near the food court that's open 24 seven. That, that wing was yeah, big. It was very big and it had a lot of stuff. You yeah. know, it's still overpriced. <laughs> yeah. This is Vegas. Yeah. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below.